Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sess and welcome back to another episode of Dirty Bomb. So today we're going to talk about credits and what the actual rate of earning credits is. So a couple of days ago, the developer Shu, Stay Fresh Shu, we all know him. He's probably the best known uh, developer from Splash Damage, at least for the Dirty Bomb community. He does also do all of the streams and stuff. He posted a pretty extended and in-depth thread on the forums about the credit earn rate, which is actually really cool. I decided to make this video because it only has 300 views which is actually very very little and i myself missed it i only saw it yesterday three days after it was initially posted and i think this is a pretty interesting topic for most of you guys we already kind of knew it was around you know the credit per minute was around 12 to 15 ish and this in-depth and extended form post kind of confirms that i will have the link in the description if you want to check it out because there's quite a lot of information but i will go over most of the stuff in this video also be sure to click the and box right now on stream for the playlist of all dirty bomb videos if you could smash the like button that would really help out the channel and subscribing is also really appreciated but anyways back to the credit rate so to basically confirm the base credit rate is indeed 12 credits per minute this is the base rate for everybody and every single game mode this base rate of 12 credits a minute is actually only valid if you have a server with more or equal than 10 players so if you have eight or nine players you need to subtract two so you have only a 10 base rate so with this 12 base rate we also have a few bonuses that you can earn so for completing a match and losing you get an extra 10 percent to this base rate bringing it to 13.2 but for winning a match you get a 30 percent increase bringing your base rate to 15.6 which is actually really good and that difference between winning and losing is actually bigger than i thought especially since most matches will last between 7 and 10 minutes that's actually quite a significant difference now a lot of people have complained in the past that high skilled players aren't really rewarded more than noobs and myself included but that is actually not true because of this next thing so you can also earn more credits by getting more xp so basically how it works the highest player so the player with the most xp on the entire server will get a 20 percent bonus on top of everything else now i assume that is on top of the 12 base rate and not on the 15.6 if you are winning uh, so it won't like stack but 20% extra for the top player on the entire server so you need to keep this in mind both winning and losing teams and basically this scales all the way down to the bottom player who has the least amount of xp he will get 0% bonus and everything in between kind of scales so let's say you have a 10 man server and uh, the fifth player will only get a 10% increase whereas the ninth player will only get a 2% increase still pretty fucking awesome now you need to keep in mind that ranked just basically doubles everything so that's a really good reason to play ranked unfortunately still the match search times are absolutely dreadful and really a pain in the ass so basically what they say is that the average player who will win about 50 50 and also be in the middle about 50 50 will get 30 percent overall more credits and bringing their total to an average of 15.6 credits a minute which is actually a lot higher than i expected now the top player will get an average of 18 credits a minute which is a lot higher than the baseline of 12. Now if you go and play ranked then it is 31.2 credits a minute for the average player and 36 for the peak player. Now I don't really know uh, how well this scales because ranked is of course 5v5 so it is a lot more likely that there will drop out one person bringing the base fee of 12 back to 10 so that will drastically decrease the 36 maximum peak. Now, and of course you still have the boosters now all of this will affect the boosters basically they calculated all of the stuff what you can earn for each booster they didn't consider the one hour boosters because of course in about three weeks those will be gone they will be poof so what they have calculated for the boosters and i trust them uh, i didn't really do anything to this but basically they say on average a three hour credit booster will net you 2808 credits with a maximum of 3240 now this is only for casual matches for ranked this will bring you to 5616 credits and with a maximum of 6480 credits now this will all scale i'm not gonna read all of it i will have it on screen right now but basically an 18 hour credit boost 
register on average will net you around 17,000 credits, which is roughly what uh, most people have said, including myself. But the staggering thing is if you play ranked and are a very good player, you can almost get 40,000 credits just from an 18 hour credit booster. Now, keep in mind, those things currently are $8 uh, for not even 40,000 credits. So that is actually a worse value than just straight up buying a Merc. Now with the upcoming discount, it will be uh, worth it a lot more in my opinion, because then they will only cost 350. 350 for roughly 40,000 credits or 34 if you're the average player is actually a pretty good deal. And then the last thing is the team imbalance. We all know this and you have a team with seven players and a team with four. Everybody rage quit. Now the team with more players will also get a drastic penalty. So if your team has two players more, you will get a decrease of one for the base rate. Three will equal to minus two. Four players extra will minus three. And finally, five more players will net you eight credits for the base fee, which is actually really, really low. Now, I'm really happy with all of this information. Basically, just the main thing you want to do is win and get as much XP as you possibly can across the entire server. Keep that in mind. So I hope you like this little quick video. Yes, it is a little bit cheap. You fucking viewer, make some decent content. But anyways, if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one.